No, to be top draw, but I think Morales will want to put on a performance here. He needs one, doesn't he, Glenn? Yes, he does. He's got to look very good. He's got a tremendous following Morales. He's an exciting fighter, but he needs that really good performance. Morales with the dark hair, unhelpfully, both of them in white trunks. The stripes down the side, the blue and kind of green colours of Morales. His 13th World Championship fight tonight, waiting bang on the nine stone limit. Chi just a little inside. Chi started out as a flyweight when he lost on his debut six years ago, but he's grown into this division. It's funny, Chi looked taller at the weigh in, he doesn't now, does he? No, he's got a bit wider of a stance than Morales, which is bringing him down in height. Now, how much has he got? Morales was curiously negative against Huti Espadas in that uh, featherweight championship fight when he took the title. Injun Chi will have obviously trained out of his skin for this. It's his massive opportunity. Good jab from Morales there. Morales has been training up at 12,000 feet for this fight. That's 3,000 feet higher than Mexico City. I clearly believe in the high altitude stuff. Good left hand there from Chi, and another one too. He's going for these left to Picos Morales now though. Well, he just walked Morales up there, didn't he? Beautiful combination from Morales in return. He stunned Morales, who suddenly produced a little cameo of what he can do. It's a good start, encouraging one. Great right hand, too, from Injun Chi. Nice left hand again. He's pushing Morales onto the back foot. This is a fair old start from the Korean. Now, what have we here? It really would be a turn up for the books if Morales was to lose his title. It would upset a few plans as well. This is with the jab, and again, Injun Chi moors on top of him like a jungle cat. Yes, he's pushing in, throwing both hands, just catching Morales by surprise a little. Oh, that's a great left hook, though, from Morales there. A jolting kind of shot. To be fair to the Korean, he took it well, but he doesn't want to take too many like that. Well, if it carries on like this, this could turn into a very good fight indeed. Keep the punches up, says Jose Covilla, the referee. It's good so far. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, Injun Chi was uh, encouragingly good in that first round. Yes, he was, but look at that combination from Morales, the accuracy, just putting Injun Chi back in his place after a good shot from him. Cracking shot. Morales, though, had to take a few left hooks of his own. It's only the fifth fight at featherweight, this, for Morales, after his long reign as the super bantamweight champion when he had a habit of stopping his opponents. He did beat Kevin Kelly in seven rounds in a non-title fight since that move up to Feather. But generally, he hasn't looked quite the force he was in the Super Bantamweight days. Morales says he feels so much better at featherweight. He explains the Barrera close shave as being very tight at the weight that night. He says if Barrera couldn't knock him out that night, he never will. Well, we'll find out. Nice right cross from Morales. Boxing quite conservatively. Yes, he's just waiting from the, for the opening from Injun Chi, who's quite busy throwing a, a lot of punches 
but not that accurate. He just looks to be trying to evolve a slightly more economical style, doesn't he, Morales? Good shots again, body and head from Morales, working close, and Africa just proving technically superior to the Korean. And he's coming in in straight lines and just leaving one or two gaps as he does it, and Morales using his world class to find the range for some punches. Well, he really is a great talent, Morales, undefeated in 40 fights. That's true, but it's a funny thing, this perception. There are still things to prove, and look at that big right hand from Injun Chi there. He caught Morales flush with that one. But Morales needs to liven up a bit. He's got to try and force the fight to Injun Chi, getting caught with that right hand. No shortage of ambition from the Korean here. Definitely just jolted Morales with that. Well, Morales kind of times in this fight, just go to sleep a bit, but he needs to wake up here. He does tend to do that occasionally. Well, the reports we heard about Injun Chin, about him having this bustling walk-forward style, absolutely right. Good accuracy from Morales as they worked in close. Some interesting stories about Morales. He's um, apparently rather distanced himself from his father on the training side now. Well, I mean, things like that in the family can be a bit worrying. He's, he said to be doing a lot of the, the training himself, you know, the plan for what he has to do. Again, that might not be the right way to do it. So, you know, a few question marks about Morales. Injun Chu began boxing at 15, the year that the Olympics was held in his home city, the Olympics where Roy Jones was robbed and where there was that famous sit-in. This is Injun Chi trying to put the pressure, there's a very good right hand. But I still thought Morales landed most of the shots that mattered in the session. What did you think? Yes, he did. Just such a cleaner puncher, just the more accurate. Third round. Morales on the right of your picture. Morales' corner telling him to work the body. Big crowd here tonight. Talk of about 17, 18,000 fans in this staples centre. One or two people said that the Barrera fight, when they saw Morales next time against the Espadas, that it, it made him a bit gun-shy. Ooh, what a good shot to the body that was from Morales. And Injun Chi felt the weight of that one, just stepped away briefly for a moment. But he's not phased at all, Injun Chi. He's straight to go back at Morales. He's listened to what the corner said, Morales. He's dug in a couple into the ribcage. There's plenty of body to aim at as well. Well, he really is a superb technician, Morales, in the ring. And we know how much heart he has. Getting with a right to the body there, Injun Chi. But these are spasmodic successes, and that was a rabbit punch. The right hand looks a bit swollen by the right eye in Jinchi as he broke away from that. But I think he's going to make Morales work for this, you know. Good combination from Morales, just stepping up the pace. Yeah, he is. Good left hand. And again, looking for the body. Popping up around the face, the Korean. Caught by a right hand as well, he's trying everything he knows, but while he does it, he's making one or two gaps. You can't afford to do that, of course, against a fighter of this quality. Yes, he's just starting to go up through the gears now. 
Morales. That's a good left hook, though, from Injun Chi. He's having his moments in the fight, but he can't really sustain any pressure. He's tending to waste a few. It's a more economic style from Morales. His shots have got a cleaner, snappier look about them. Yes, this is a pretty cool performance from Morales. He's just biding his time, covering up when he has to, and then coming out with the fast combinations. Just taking a few too many. Chi, one or two gaps in his defence, and he can't afford to do that, otherwise he's going to get broken up. Welcome back. Looks like Morales has rather got things under control for the moment, doesn't it? But you never know here. He's yes, it does. Look at that right hand. Just picked the gap, just leant back a little bit and caught Injun Chi perfectly. Morales, a sharp, witty, intelligent kind of guy out of the ring who loves playing practical jokes. His brother Diego is a good fighter as well who held the WBO super flyweight title. Morales on the far side from you 40 and 0 as you can see there she just the one defeat 64 and 1 between them then the left hook just left his right glove drop a bit low engine cheek He's boxing within himself at the moment, I think Morales. He's saying, I've noticed a difference. People are beginning to doubt me. They're going to see a change. And he promised it tonight. Good accuracy from him again. It's a brave effort from Injun Chi here. But I have to say, at the moment, he just looks a little outclassed, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Looking to start performing Morales as he throws those combinations. Not many of the names on Chi's record mean too much. His form hard to assess, even though he's got 24 wins and only one defeat. So for him, in world terms, this is most definitely the defining night. Morales looking to load up with the right hand. Showing the good variety there with a three-punch combination, head and body, Morales. Bit less coming from Chi at the moment. Yes, he's more wary to commit himself, Chi. He's not rushing in like he was early. Being made to pay on the counter again. Morales rather enjoying sitting back letting Chi throw punches and then exploit any gaps he might leave well he's aggressive Chi but Morales then join just doing the counter punching with the snappier punches it's a slightly more conservative version of Morales than you saw in the thriller with Barrera but I think that fight probably told him that he needed to tighten up a bit he couldn't carry on being in wars like that all the way otherwise he wouldn't last too long well also the great technical skills of Barrera made it a war that's cracking right hand to end the round in that exchange from Morales welcome back just seeing Sylvester Stallone arriving Just going through the gears, picking up the punches, getting through with combinations, Morales. Haven't seen Jack Nicholson tonight, he's usually at the fights, no, isn't I'm he? I'm sure he'll probably. <laughs> Sugar Shane Mosley, the uh, superb world weight. Among those at ringside as well, many film stars. Just up the road from Hollywood, of course. 
Morales on the far side from you. Dominant at the moment. It's been a really game effort this though from Injun Chi and he looks pretty durable. He's taken a lot of heavy shots already and not wilted much. No, he hasn't, but Morales coming out this round. Just looking more like he means business with him. Very sharp jabs. I think Morales at this stage would like an impressive stoppage. I think he wants the world to talk about him in more glowing terms again. Not that he's a cocky individual, far from it. Good body shot from him there as well. The body attack, I think, might take a lot out of it, out of Injun Chi here. Good left hook to the body there, just seemed to stung Injun Chi. Good jab from Injun Chi. He's really, really game. It's a warrior's performance, this, from the challenger. But technically, he's got big problems. The jab working excellently for Morales. Not, really has got good variety. And not enough lateral movement from the Korean either. No, he can't get his head out of the way of that jab. And that's obviously a problem. Mixing up the boxing and the brawling quite astutely here, Morales. Putting together some class shots, not wasting too many. Well, he's now starting to turn on something of a star-like performance. Missing with very little. And Chi is missing with a lot, if we're truthful. I think they were looking for a fight that would showcase Morales' talent a bit more. Just to prove to the world that he is the same force at featherweight. These body punches have got to have an effect sometime soon, Glenn. Yes, they've got to take an awful lot out of Indian T. Morales is round again. <laughs> Looking back at action from round five. Another Morales masterclass there. Yes, it was more so. He just seemed to get more spiteful with the punches, Morales, both with the jab and the shots that went to the body. Korea have produced three world featherweight champions, and you'll know these, Glenn. Min Kyun Oh, Ki Yong Chung, and Kyung Yong Park. Yep, those household names that we, we've come to love. Well, the household names in Korea, that's for certain. Chi looking to add his name to this list, but... Uh, the local Korean Times came out with the stat that 24 of the last 25 Koreans to come to America and challenge for world titles have lost. Oh, a right hand! That's Stan Morales! A right hand from Chi! Is this his moment? If it is, he's got to seize it. He hurt Morales with that. Oh, he's dabbing away at his eye as well. Is this the moment for Injun Chi? And now we've got a timeout. Why have we got a timeout here from Jose Cabayan? He is complaining, and I do not blame him. Well, he has right to complain. Just his good eye for Morales, but right oh, when he had the action going his way in Jin Chi. He's got a bad cut eye, but so what? Really, at this stage, that could have waited. Listen to the crowd, they know they're boxing. And they know there that Morales has been let off the hook. He's been given seconds for his head to clear there. He should have waited for a lull in the action, the referee. That was terrible refereeing, I have to say. But G continues the attack. What a round we have going here. It's the sixth, and Morales is in difficulty. He's cut, and he's been hurt. Oh, and there's another big right hand. Now Morales has to go to war with it. Listen to the crowd here, too. 
Now we've got scenes from Morales Barrera. Well, Indy G, a new lease of life now. All the confidence from the cut, he really going for these. Has hurt Morales in this round. But how much has that piece of refereeing cost Injun Chi? Right hand again. And Morales looking damaged. The right eye. Could Chi rip the title away in sensational fashion here? He looks so dribbly. Rocks Morales again and looked off balance as the right hand cracked in. Well, this is developing into some fight. Just when Morales looked to be controlling it smoothly and picking up the rounds, boxing within himself quite cleverly, she has made a big dent in this round, and that left eye of Morales looks a problem. Yes, she doesn't seem to be able to miss Morales with the right hand. Morales dro dropping his left glove, being a bit careless, and she seizing the opportunity. It's a big round for the Korean. He's hurt again, there was a clash of heads, we think it was a clash of heads that caused the cut. Morales is giving out distress signals here, Chi is only going to be lifted by that. And we have seen one of the most contentious pieces of refereeing I think I've ever seen in a world title fight. In this round. Yes, it was terrible at a bad time. You're obviously, you're maybe he thought it was caused with the head, so give, give the break to Morales. But he was also hurt by a punch. Good right hand from Morales, his head has cleared as the round's gone on. She is nailed by a right hand, and look at that gesture from him. So what, he says, as the punch lands. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got some work to do here, Morales. There's the cut, it's on the eyelid, the left eyelid. He's got some problems here, then. He has got problems. All of a sudden, he just seen one and Chi landing with his right hand. He was hurt in that round, Morales. Then the cut added more problems to him. And he really has got to do something now. But what about the referee's decision? Jose Cabayan, I've never seen him in a world championship fight, not a major one, before. That was a crucial decision, wasn't it? To call off the assault when Chi was in mid-flow. Yes, it was. He did seem to have him hurt. There's that, the clash of heads. And I think that's maybe why he gave Morales the break. But, of course, Morales had already been staggered before that happened. That's true. But that was probably crucial for Morales. Seventh round, second half of the fight. What next here? Is this Korean going to make history for his nation just down the road from Korea Town in LA? Morales needed that minute and so did his corner. The left eye is closing up. He's on the back foot now. And it's proving another difficult night this for Morales. Now, can Chi build on that, or was that his moment? Has it come and gone? Let's see. Well, Morales has to take a bit of the fight out of Chi. Nice combination there, and a powerful right hand. This fella looks like he's made of stone. The number of body punches he's taken, and hardly flinched. Well, he really is a handful, isn't he? Showing no respect for Morales now. None at all, and he hasn't from the word go. a bit reticent to uh, charge in Chi. I think he's got the message. If he does that, he is open to some sharp counters. So he's thinking on his feet in there a bit. But he does have to get in. He can't let Morales use his good jab. The right hand from Chi, who then smiles and leers at Morales. Two Warriors, there's another big left hand from the Korean. We know that Morales has a great chin, though. Anybody who could have come through those 12 rounds with Pereira, still upright, has to have a superb chin.
He was in another pretty hard one with Wayne McCulloch, wasn't he? That was a good fight too. That's right, but he's been made to think in here. Morales just seems to be running out of confidence. She has come in here, you know, wanting to do something. Just doesn't look quite the commanding warrior of old, Morales, somehow. Well, maybe his punches don't have the same effect at this weight, and it's harder to keep his opponents off him. There's mounting evidence to suggest you're right there. A couple of body shots from Chi, the little right hand back from Morales. Fascinating fight, this one. And don't rule out a shock. <laughs> Morales, who... Still doesn't speak English when he does the interviews. They've tried to get him to, but uh, I think he's given it up as a bad job. <laughs> yeah, Lego Spanish. Exactly. He speaks better English than we do Spanish. Now, round eight of this. Chi on the left of the picture, the Korean. It's his first fight this year as well. Oh, good right cross there from Morales. She's yeah. still trying to force the fight, push Morales onto the back foot. He needs to start throwing the right hand against you. That's where he had the success. But he's gone a bit quiet here, hasn't he, Morales? Yes, he's certainly been made to think in there. How close is this fight on the scorecard, do you think? Well, I, I've still got Morales in, in quite a big lead, four points on my card, but difficult to see what the, the judges think. I've got it closer than that, I've just got one point in it. Well, Injun Ching now trying to let Morales be the one who comes forward. Maybe he fancies a bit of counter-punching, does he? Right to the temple this time from Chi, who's proving more than a handful. He's not let himself down here in any way, has he? No, he hasn't. He's doing himself proud, actually. And he's you know, making sense of that rating, that number one ranking that he come in the ring with. And that's good for boxing, too. It would have been a bit of a farce if he'd come in here and been blown away easily. Another right hand. He smiles gleefully at Morales through his gum shield as he lands it. From what effect is this having on Morales? He's not used to this sort of contempt being shown by an opponent. You'd have to say the Koreans, the boss psychologically at the moment in there. He just doesn't care, does he? No, he doesn't. He's obviously got a very good chin. He's taking the shot from Morales. And he's quite happy to try and get in there and dish out his own. And I think he and his camp think they've got Morales at the right time. Cleaner shot again from Morales there. They're just wading in and wasting a few engine cheese. Done that a few times. But he's had his successes and enough of them to make this interesting. Looks like the corner have done a decent job on Morales' left eye for the moment. Welcome back. Some good action in this fight. And Eric Morales, as we thought from early on, has got a battle on his hand if he wants to hold on to this WBC featherweight championship here. Did he leave his best days behind him at Super Bantamweight? Well, maybe he did. You know, maybe it's just a, a little bit too far, the featherweight division. He certainly hasn't been as good as yet. But you know, all credit to Chi really taking the fight to Morales and putting on an excellent performance. Round nine. Good right from Morales, picked the punch well. I just want to pull away, I'm sure, in the 
last third of the fight. Morales, who was a bit disparaging about Prince Nassim Hamid in an interview this week, said Hamid was out of the mix now. I wouldn't say that entirely. Just because he lost to Barrera, Naz can come back. Well, I've always thought that Morales is a better opponent for Hamid. And I think the style of Morales will suit Hamid. Well, what they're watching here might encourage them to go for that. More accuracy from Morales there, even on the back foot. Oh, she nearly nailed him with a big right. Bit of a rabbit punch. But physically, he is really managing to rough Morales up. Morales not liking this physical stuff. You'd have to say, once again, it's not the most convincing performance, this, from Morales. I thought he was really going to turn it on and pick this fellow apart in about rounds three, four and five, but she's come back. Is Morales going to have to hope the judges are seeing things his way again? Again, the better accuracy from him, working well with the jab. Well, he's definitely electing not to stand toe to toe with Chi. He is trying to move and jab and you know, use his extra speed. Doesn't care much where they land, does he, Chi? And a lot of them, frankly, were landing well behind the head. But there was one good left hook in there from Chi. And this is good aggressive stuff. And will the judges go for this sort of work? Well, he's the one on the front foot. And American judges do tend to score for aggression. But he's walking into those jabs as well. And that right hand, that was a good shot, and another short right. But Chi soaks it all up again. Another good shot from Morales. He's doing the cleaner work, I think. Again, a rabbit shot from Engine Chi. Yes, he started to pick it up. Better work from Morales in the second half of this round. Trying to stay on the move, not present the stationary target for Injun Chi, who's always looking to load up. I think Morales has done the cleaner work in this session. Beyond much dispute. <laughs> well, he's an amazing little fighter. This Korean, no respecter of Morales' reputation at all, and nothing you do seems to shake him at all. Well, he's doing the right sort of thing. This is how you've got to you know, behave with a good fight. You've got to try and you know, take the fight to them, hit them with shots, rough them up. He's doing everything right. It's just still the better skills are from Morales. Who's, you know, it's a different game plan. He's on the back foot. He's looking to counter punch and pick his shots. Here's round 10. Nine minutes left. In what's been a fascinating battle for the WBC featherweight championship, formerly held by Azuma Nelson and Britain's Paul Hodkinson in the fairly recent past. Here's Glenn's scorecard for you. Yes, I've still got Morales four points ahead at this stage, so he's still the better boxing in the earlier rounds. Got him there for me. I've got it to Morales by a couple. But we're back to where we were in about rounds three, four and five just at the moment with Morales settling into his boxing. And all the time it's just a, a battle of technical skills. Morales looks the boss, but Chi could be just one punch away again from having a, another big period in the fight. Good little right on the counter again from Morales there. Shaking his head, still not liking the work, thinking it's a bit rough from Chi. No, I don't think he liked that right hand very much either. Walk forward aggression all the time from In Jin Chi, the 28-year-old WBC number one from Korea. That's a nice right hand. Chopping right hand. That was good and accurate from him. Needs more of that kind of thing. 
Otherwise, Morales is just going to nick the rounds away with his snappy counter shots and jabs. Well, he's going to get a point deducted, I think, here. But holding the head down of Morales and punching him behind the head. He's done that a few times, a point off for Injun Chi. Now, that's a shame for him. He can't afford that, I would suspect. On the scorecards of the judges, two Californians, incidentally, and the Belgian, Daniel van der Weyler, who refereed the Lewis Rachman sensation in South Africa recently. Well, that is a shame because he is getting the better of this round, Injun Chi. And the point deduction, of course, will wipe that out. Okay, and he gets there with the right hand. Morales complains this time about use of the elbow. I'm not really that impressed with the way Morales keeps on giving out distress signals. It's almost saying he's not so sure he wants to be in these wars anymore, isn't it, that? Well, maybe that Barrera fight did take an awful lot out of him. What an effort from Injun Chi here. He's come from nowhere. He's been a mystery man. None of the American writers have ever heard of him. And to be frankly, uh, frank with you, I don't think we had either, have we? No, we hadn't. But, you know, he deserves this number one rung. He proved himself to be very tough. Bit of a shame he picked up that, that loss of a point there. He didn't really need that in what was a good round for him. Here's the 11th. Chi walking forward all the time. How much weight will the judges give to that? Or will they go for Morales? Crisper work maybe on the back foot, more accurate work generally during the fight. Still think the referee calling a halt in round six at the time he did was a pivotal moment in this. Good work again with the hooks close in by Injun Chi. That's usually Morales' kind of territory. It used to be when he was a super bantamweight, but he just got out punched in that exchange. Well, he really is full of fire and belief in himself, Injun Chi, electing to stand with Morales. Love to know how the judges are seeing it. Good uppercut on the inside from Morales. Still only 24, he seems to have been around forever, doesn't he? But have the hard battles just begun to take their toll? It starts to look like it, you know. Cheese giving him life and death here. He almost seems impervious to pain, this Korean. <laughs> He really does. Whatever Morales does, these good combinations bounce off his head and he comes firing back. And he walked into an absolute cracking right from Morales there. It does raise the question again of whether Morales still has the power, having moved up four pounds to featherweight. See, a lot of the time Morales is causing the problem by bending down and Chi got penalised for that. Well, Morales not moving as much in this round. He's electing to stand with Chi. Could that be Chi's chance? He's bearing his soul here, the Korean. And I bet in his mind he thinks he's winning this fight. That he's taking the title away. Well, he's the one going forward. That will give him some mental superiority. But have the judge, judges seen it like that? It's not what Eric Morales was looking for this tonight. And you just wonder whether the changes backstage have had their effect as well. Cracking combination from Morales there though, and the body shot. And how does Injun Chi take those and stand upright? He does. Some big shots from Morales there. Look at this man walk through those shots. He's an incredible challenger.
Well, the crowd, Sam Ram, wasn't it? Excellent. The crowd on their feet applauding both fighters for that. And Morales has shown some grit and determination, really letting the shots go at the end. But yet again, he's been dragged into the trenches. Well, he's only 24 Morales, but you wouldn't think he's got that much of a long career if he's going to have tough fights like this all the time. You can only imagine what kind of training regime Im Jin Chi went through for this fight because his conditioning must be absolutely superlative. Well, just the way he's taking shots. Look at that. What beautiful, accurate combinations catching him on the chin and yet still keeps marching forward. Morales won the round, of course, with punches like that. Im Chi has comes out for the last round of what's been an excellent fight for the WBC featherweight championship what a proud effort this is by the Korean engine chief but is it enough I have Morales by three you've got it by more Glenn yes I've got by five the cleaner boxing the better accuracy from Morales but such a brave attempt from engine chief great gallantry the man is a gladiator and he's still going for it forgets all about defense throws in the hooks could there be a sting in the tail of this yet? That was a low blow from Morales there. Not picked up by the referee. Cheese round so far. Goodness me. He's throwing in the kitchen sink in there. But still two minutes left in the round clash of heads this time well, he doesn't give engine she a moment there I'll tell you what he's at the short end of the refereeing decisions isn't he, he knows he's away from home but look at this from Chi pushing Morales back now oh another big right hand the fans here at this Staples Center have seen a thriller here look at Chi here giving it everything body shots but Morales won't break well, if ever somebody wanted to win, has got the desire to win, it's Chi. This fellow, as they say, can come again. Crowd are on their feet now. Now Morales comes back. And there's still a minute left in what's been a grandstand final round. Look at this effort from Injun Chi. He must be wondering what he's got to do to actually get Morales out of there. Morales looks very tired now as he falls back against the ropes. Finds a very good right hand by way of counter, but he's been outpunched here by this Korean who wants this so badly. Well, what a tough and strong guy she is. And I don't think Morales will be so keen of a return this has taken an awful lot out of him it's another aging fight this for Morales he thinks he's won it in Jin Chi love to know how the judges have got it now the big right hand it's a great final round by the Korean what an effort and is this all in vain oh what a fight that was in the end they both raised their arms a lot and Morales again was taken to the edge, the very edge. I'll tell you what, if that fellow has lost that fight, and he might well have done on the scorecards, that will have been one of the great, gallant, losing efforts I've ever seen from a challenger. Tremendous. Certainly the psychological battle has been won by Injun Chi. At the back, he's, at the end, he's smiling, he's happy. He knows you know, physically he was the boss in there. Whether he did more, whether he got the better boxing, I don't really think so. But a sterling effort from Injun Chi. He really did fight his heart out. And I tell you what, even among the Mexicans here, he made 20,000 new fans tonight and millions more around the world. Oh, he did. He showed tremendous courage, tremendous heart, and what a fantastic chin. There's your scorecard, Glenn. You've got it. Yes, one more. Four points, one, one, seven, one, one, three. For Morales, just uh, the cleaner boxing, the better work early.
Don't Just go to any, for me. Don't go to any Korean restaurants afterwards tonight. <laughs> Here he goes. We had a courageous challenger, a sensational champion, and definitely deserving a round of applause here at Staples Center, Los Angeles. We go to the Budweiser scorecards. Lou Filippo scores the bout, 116 to 111. Dr. James Jen Kin has it, 117 to 110. And Daniel Vanderville scores it, 116 to 112. All for the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undefeated WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Eric El Terrible Morales. Well, Morales given it by five rounds, seven points, don't believe that, and four by the Belgian Daniel Vanderwill. I think it was the right winner, but it doesn't tell the story of a courageous and wonderful, wonderful challenge by Injun Chi, who made it a memorable fight.